Alrighty, hello everyone, and we're back with some more Heaven's Ward main scenario quests. Oh, I'm doing the weird hunched over pose. Nope. Anyway, as usual, I'll just need a short moment. Anyway, how's what time's got? Welcome, Master Forges. Shall I show you inside the manor? And your four times banner, yes. Great, please. Hello, Count Edmond de Fortom. How are you today? Lone smiles on us yet again, Master Forges. Guiding you to victory and setting your comrades free. I confess. I did fear for your safety, which is not to say I doubted your prowess, you understand. I merely knew the strength of your opponents. Ahem. You do have a habit of exceeding my expectations. Best two of the Heaven's Ward. I cannot remember the voice I gave it out. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay, all my voices sound the same anyway. Best two of the Heaven's Ward, while the city's elite looked on by the Fury. Anyone who hasn't been paying attention. Yeah. We gotta move this mic, it is absolutely in the way. Okay. Anyone who has been paying attention to you will surely do so from now on. Uh, my lord! We have received... We have just received a message from the vault. His Eminence, the Archbishop, requests the presence of Master Forges. An invitation from the Archbishop? What an honor. A personal, sum a personal summon is indeed a great honor, and given recent events, you would be wise not to delay. Go, Master Forges, we shall speak anon. The priest will be waiting. I cannot do voices today, I'm so sorry. The priest will be waiting for you outside the vault. Identify yourself to him, and he will escort you inside. I slept in today, so I just woke up, and I am not uh, all present. You ought to receive you, Master Forges. That's why you please. Oh my god, save little Timmy. Your Eminence, it is my honor to present to you the Warrior of Light. I have heard the tales of your many grand endeavors. The Lord Commander has also been most effusive in his praise. I am Thordon VII, Archbishop of the Ishgardian Orthodox Church. And I bade you come here that I might offer my personal apologies. You will forgive me for not calling upon you as courtesy would dictate. But, as you can see, my more sprightly days are long behind me. Your companions were wrongly accused of heresy and subjected to gross indignities. This, I am sorry to say, was the result of negligence on the part of our nation's protectors. Negligence born of an excess of zeal. Is that not so, Sir Zethir? Yes, Your Eminence. Regrettably, it would appear that we of the Heaven's Ward were in receipt of erroneous information. Sir Grino has ever been headstrong, 
He pressed charges before the truth had been ascertained, for which I most sincerely apologize. An unfortunate misunderstanding born of an earnest desire to serve Ishgard, but one which should never have occurred. Look at his sunken eyes and his angry eyebrows and the over flashy crown. It is generally the darkness of all the lines on his face. This guy's absolutely a villain, I'm telling you right now. He's gonna turn out to be a big enemy we have to face later. For who could doubt the character of those who bested Shiva and drove the horde from the steps of faith? Not I, that much is certain. That will be all, Sir Zephyrin. I would speak with our guest in private. Your Eminence, I... As you wish, Your Eminence. That will be all for today. You want to fight right now, old man? Is a luxury rarely afforded one in my position. Now, tell me, young man, what do you know of the Asians? That you're most likely controlled by one? Much and more, I shouldn't wonder, being the bringer of light. You should know that I myself have met with them, have entertained them as guests, even. Those harbingers of chaos and strife offered us power that we might continue our war against the dragons. I have no intention of aiding their cause, of course, nor less of being their puppet. Yet, were I to refuse them outright, I should learn naught of their true objectives and remain powerless to stop them. Thus have I hearkened to their words with interest and paid lip service to their beliefs, biding my time and preparing for the inevitable conflict. And why do I tell you this? Because there is naught in this world they fear more than the power of the warrior of light. If we are to rid ourselves of these vile interlopers, we must need to work together. With our combined strength, I have faith that we can wrest Eorzea from their grasp and pave the way for a lasting peace. Think on it. I gave up the title of Warrior of Light when all my friends died. Now I go by a new name. Detective Mittens, at your service. I guess I could just use my eyeballs and look, but, you know, map. Welcome, Master Forges. Shall I show you inside the manor? Why does your voice change every time I meet you? Because I don't care. There you are. I confess, I was more than a little concerned when I learned that you had been summoned to the vault. What did they want with you? Well, well. A formal apology and an admonishment of those responsible. I see my fears were wholly misplaced. Did somebody say holy? By the gods! The Archbishop freely admits to consorting with Asians. So, their ambitions extend to Ishgard as well. 
We will have new primals to contend with ere long. Of that, you may be certain. Tis but a matter of time. Yet shorn of the support of our missing allies, what can we realistically hope to achieve? <gasps> In the midst of all the excitement, I completely forgot to tell you. When I was asking around about the Scions, I heard the most awful rumor. General Raubun is to be executed for crimes against the Sultanate! If the Flame General dies, we will lose a staunch ally, and the one man capable of holding the Sultana's assassins to account. I thought he was dead. They sliced off his arm and then we left him to fend for himself. Lord Orshifon was wise to counsel restraint, but this business will brook no delay. We cannot permit this execution to take place. We must save Raubarn. All right. And I guess we can take on the entire army of Lanalan. For one guy we kind of know. You know, he told us a neat story of his PTSD over a dinner party one time. So we basically owe him our lives. Though the situation calls for urgency, it would avail us little to charge headlong into U Uldar without a plan. I didn't mean to click that. Before we can formulate a plan, however, we must first learn how things stand in the Sultanate, which is why I propose that we visit Limza Liminza. I I've been to Uldar several times already. No one's looking for us. Aye, you heard me right. While you were about your altruistic endeavors, I acted as an intermediary in trade negotiations between House Fort Tom and a Limson Consortium. Lominzen, I meant. During said no negotiations, an opportunity to send word to the Admiral presented itself, and I duly seized it. I am happy to report that we yet have a stout ally in Limza. The Admiral has pledged her full support in any effort to rescue Roban. Accordingly, I have agreed to meet with her that we might discuss how best to proceed. Naturally, I told her to expect us both. I can't talk both. Your presence never fails to embolden our allies, after all. When you arrive in Limsa Liminza, make yourself known to Sergeant Zansail. Zan at Bulwark Hall on the lower decks, he will admit you to the bridge. Up, up, and away! Zenfail, Storm Sergeant, I presume. The Admiral has been expecting you. Say the word and I'll take you there. Proceed to the bridge. Admiral, how's it going? Been a while. It is good to see you safe and well. I will admit I had not counted on you seeking, let alone finding refuge within the Holy See. But full glad was I to learn that you had. Thankfully, we had allies there who took us under their wing. And theirs was not the only aid we receive, I suspect. When we fled Uldar, we fully expected to become wanted men, known to all and hounded at every turn. Yet that did not come to pass. On the contrary, it would seem the charges against us have not been made public. Might we have you to thank for that, Admiral? Sharp as ever, Master Elfino. On Marshal Terrapin's urging, the Elder Seed Seer and I demanded that the Syndicate suppress news of the Scion's alleged crimes until such time as irrefutable evidence could be found. Our argument was simple. Lacking proof to accuse the saviors of the realm of so unlikely a crime would have the people up in arms. In their wisdom, the Syndicate agreed, as you yourself have seen. There is something you should know. Some few days prior to the banquet, the Elder Seedseer and I were summoned for a private audience with the Sultana. 
there, she revealed her intent to announce her abdication, that she might pave the way for the establishment of an Uldan Republic. What? But such an announcement would have plunged the entire nation into chaos. She was well aware of that. It was for fear of what might ensue that she summoned us. Her grace wanted the elder Seed Seer and I to lend Rauban a helping hand, you see? To aid him in preserving the peace during the transition. So, having somehow caught wind of her plan, Lollarito and Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination in the hope of maintaining the constitutional status quo. But they must have known that her death would sow as much chaos as her abdication. Chaos from which Teleji alone might feasibly stand to profit. Sure. Ah. Could it be? I dare not hope. The Uldan authorities have yet to announce the Sultana's passing. To allay any suspicion that may arise from Her Grace's absence, they have issued a statement to the effect that she is presently convalescing from illness. Mayhap they're waiting for a fitting moment to break the news, or mayhap they know of some other reason to delay. Something else has been bothering me, Admiral. I was dismayed to learn that General Raoban is to be executed. Yet upon hearing the news, I could not help but wonder why he had been kept alive for so long. I was actually wondering the same thing. Ow. Just hit my funny bone on the table. Pray mistake not my meaning. I am, of course, overjoyed that our friend still draws breath, and that he might yet be saved. But if his enemies truly wish to eliminate him, they could have done so immediately. I see no reason for this delay. Aye, you've struck upon an important point, Master Alphano. Following his capture, Rauban had been held in the Marasaja pit within Uldar. In recent days, however, he has reportedly been moved to an unknown location. Queerly, it was not the Brass Blades who spirited him away either, but a band of soldiers decked in blue. The Crystal Braves. Aye. If I read the winds are right, the arrangement between Lord Lollarito and the Braves has come under strain. At any rate, if we're to rescue Rauban, we'll have to find him first. And you'll be glad to hear that I have already entrusted the task to those best able to see it done. Our friends of Doma. Who? What's Doma? Okay. I can't remember every name, okay? This game introduces you to like a billion different fucking cities and states and countries and random fucking planets. I don't even fucking know anymore. And ARR, the Realm Reborn. I cannot keep track of all of them. Raban's well, survival is vital to the Aeosian Alliance. We can ill afford to lose him. But I cannot send troops into Uldar to expel the end of the Alliance in war. Like as not, if there is to be a rescue, it falls to you and yours to attempt it. Oh, that's weird, my... Huh, my voice changer wasn't showing itself as turned on and then suddenly it did. Hopefully it was working that time. I would not have it any other way, Admiral. It was I who founded the Crystal Braves, and I who must take responsibility for their actions. Spoken like a true leader, myself, no. By the by way of a first step, you should seek out our Doma Doman contact. You will find her among the frontier hands at Revenant's Toll, working in a kitchen. Hello, Hagiri. 
Yes and no. I knew in my heart that you were safe, but to see you again in the flesh, words cannot express. Words cannot well express my relief. Even as the victory feast was taking place, the crystal braves turned upon us and took the rising stones by force. Amid the chaos, some few of my compatriots and I were able to slip away unnoticed. Since then, we have remained in Revenant's store, keeping watch over the mutineers while awaiting your return. You have done well by us, and we, Dolan, do not soon forget our debts. We swear to all within our power to aid you. Good to know we still have allies. Yuri is eager to assist you. Shortly before you arrived, I received word from Linda Lamenta that you were searching for General Robon. As the Admiral have informed you, he was recently moved from a cell in the Marasaja pit. At the same juncture, you, your Hossa, and his third unit observed, observed leaving the Rising Stones. This can be no simple coincidence. The purpose, we believe, is to escort the flame general to the scene of his execution. Suffice it to say, we have people shadowing the third. If you would join the hunt, please seek out Pandora at Highbridge, where I too am bound. Okay. Howdy, how you folks doing? What voice should I give him? I don't know, my voice sounds the same anyway, doesn't matter. I've been expecting you. Time is of the essence, so I shall be direct. You, Jose, and his men are bound for Halitali. We believe that this is where they intend to carry out the execution. Hosanna is presently keeping watch over the entrance. Let us make haste and join him. Where the... How the fuck did you guys run there that fast? Hi guys. You come at a good time, my friends. But moments ago the traitor Ilbred arrived and entered Halatali. From this, we may be certain that General Roban is being held within. Oh no, I really hope I'm not going to have to do a dungeon. I don't like playing with all the real people. Hmm. I think I'm wearing one of those. There's no time to lose. General Alden may be executed at any moment. You must enter Halitali and free him from his captors. Please see to your preparations and tell me when you are ready to proceed. One of our own will accompany you inside. Yeah, I'm not very good at this game, so... Dealing with all the real players while I'm strangling doesn't sound like fun. They're, they're, they're gonna call me Poop Man. They're gonna call me Diarrhea Poo Man. Probably. Pray, forgive me my lateness. Lady Yugiri! Master Alphano, I am pleased to see that the light of resolve shines in your eyes once more. Ah, yes. How pathetic I must have seemed to you when we last met. I am ashamed to record it. For a time, I was well and truly lost. But with the aid of my comrades, I have since refound my purpose, and I shall take care not to misplace it again. Since your escape from Ulda, my fellow Shinobi and I have shadowed the Crystal Braves every step, in hopes of learning the Scion's whereabouts. Regrettably, our investigation has yet to yield any useful information. Pray, forgive us. You need not apologize, my lady. We are grateful for all that you have done on our behalf. 
Besides, Ralban is no less a friend, and we cannot well abandon him to his fate. Hozan, the three of us shall attend to the Flame General's rescue. Pray, draw away the guards by the entrance. Take Doware and Higiri with you. Oh my god, it's Impa. With me! Man, Heaven's War story is pretty good so far. I feel like we're getting a lot more voice acting too, which I actually enjoy. Also makes my job easy so I don't have to read everything. Not a soul from the Colosseum to be seen. This bodes ill. Take the lead, Noah. I shall follow close to you. Alright. Just... Jesus Christ, what have they been doing to people in here? Hanging them on meat hooks and shit? Alright, I guess forward we go. No, I haven't activated my grit. Hello there. Let's take out the Archer group. Actually, I got a new ability I've been wanting to try out. There we go. So that looks pretty cool, I think. We got our little red field around us that constantly does dots damage over time. Son of a... Nope. He's even voice acted randomly saying shit here. Neat. Hello there, friends. You gotta say, you are the least friendly friends I've ever had. Leave this to me. Hey, she's voice acting here too. I wonder if maybe, like, you know, the game just did really well, and they had a realm reborn, so they were able to put a lot more money into Heaven's Ward or something. That's why they have more voice acting and a bit of a better story. Not that Realm Reborn was bad, by any means, I still enjoyed the story, it's just... It was hard to get to the story, you know what I mean? Like, you would start, and then it's like... Okay, so here's a random dinner party with this guy giving you all the backstory to a fight you're never gonna do in this... ...fucking storyline. And now suddenly the Scions are here, and then you have a whole bunch of nothing to do until suddenly the Scions are dead. And then you have a whole bunch more nothing to do until suddenly you power up an airship. And then finally you get to the actual story. And it's like that was that was a hundred hours of gameplay. To get fifteen minutes of story. The general was captors. Oh, I forgot he's watching. General You King Hello Andrea, how are you? He is bound by some manner of magitek device, yet I dare not force it open. It may well be booby trapped. I have heard of such devices. The crystal braids will possess the key. Let us split up and look for it. That will not be necessary. Now, oh. pray you do not. Take it personally, my friends. You are the victims of harsh economic conditions. Happily, you will not suffer for long. This poison will convey you swiftly unto that bosom of Thal, where I hope to join you after the passing of many prosperous years. Well, that's a trustworthy smile right there. I like how I'm just swinging around a slab of stone. <laughs> Leave me. Save yourselves. We cannot let them escape, Noah. Oh, we're forcing the gate, I guess. 
Yeah, because why not just break down a giant metal gate? That makes sense. That was my second plan to get out of here. First one was digging with a spoon. The way is clear. Oh. Who the hell are you? Mr. Maze, we must stop at a source. I shall turn to the general. Please see Mr. Sky. I have the key. The Braves have the key. Alright. So are we heading out here to get that key then? Oh, am I supposed to be following? No, he's following me, okay. Alrighty. Uh, oh shit, I'm taking damage. Is that just from being in the poison? Alright, let's run through and figure out what the heck we're doing. Hopefully before anyone dies. Oh wait, I heal faster than it hurts me so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, I love being a tank. The tank was weirdly high DPS. I think I just love being a Dark Knight, it's a very fun class. Maybe actual DPS players kill stuff a lot faster, but uh, as far as tanks go, I just felt like I was so slow when I was playing Paladin. <laughs> I'm going the right way. Uh, last stream I was in the snow area and I got real lost and that was like 15 minutes of me walking in circles. I would assume we're headed this way now? Nope. Destroy the source of the mist. Oh, he found it. Thanks, Alvino. This one old device is making that much poison. You know, if the Sultanate was still alive, I would love to ask her why they own things like this. This is some fucking Joker in the movies the theater style shit. That takes care of the mist. The mist has cleared. Next to find the key and free Robon. Oh, now the door is open. I forgot it was a mist controlled door. That's most doors are. Hello, Crystal Graves. I remember the ceremony when we all brought you here. Glad to see you're well. Traitorous pieces of shit. Well, I'm kind of wondering because, like, you have your whole reputation in this game, especially me as a Dark Knight, because the storyline is about me murdering a lot of people, or my Pick low as I half murdering a lot of people. And yet these people will just show up who have worked under me and are like, yeah, no, we can take him. We can probably take him in a fight. That seems like a good idea. Oh, can we not break this one down for some reason? Okay. Oh, we just needed the key here anyway. Nope. Kind of funny, I remember. 
back in a uh, Mabinogi. The key, take it to Robon. Uh, so they changed this eventually. It was an amazing quality of life update. But uh, back in the day, the keys would drop and one person could pick it up, right? So a lot of the time, it would be really annoying because someone would have all their bags full and it actually took up like four bag slots if it was a boss key. So everyone would be like, all right, who's going to toss shit out so that they can pick up the key? And then, uh, yeah, other times, someone would pick up the key and no one would know who has it. And then that person would go AFK in the middle of the dungeon so no one could proceed. And it was like, why would they do this system? And it was so frustrating. Luckily, they changed it so when a key drops, it's automatically looted, takes no big space, and anyone can use it. But for years and years, because it's like a 20-year-old game, right? It was just a terrible key system, and people would even use it to troll, and it's like, come on, man. Hi, Robon, I'm back. Oh, yeah, his arm is still missing. For a second, I was like, did he regrow an arm? But now it was just the bandages hanging off. You look well. My thanks. <laughs> Slowly, General. You are yet weak from your ordeal. Good. Nevertheless, we must quit this place. I should have known what our, what our clever contrivance is to the Warrior of Light. Well done, Hero. Oh, that was not her speaking. I did not read the name. Well, great. Now I have to give him that voice. Ew, good. Yeah, now nah, nah, that's just his voice, unfortunately. You mean to struggle on, then? Very well. If you would stand in my way, I will cut you down. Hold up, I gotta go even higher with it for the, for the job. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, what's this? If you would stand in my way, I will cut you down like all the rest. Come, Sayas, let's get this over with. Then that is the proper voice for her. Hello. We're gonna go ahead and yoink. Look, you don't mind if I hog some of the attention. Ilbert of the Dull Blade. You know, my voice was pretty similar to his. I think I almost nailed it. Let's get rid of this, we don't need it here. Get all the unnecessary information off the screen so I can focus. Do you... I'll tell you limb from limb. Well, that's not very nice of you. I mean, you already started with fucking Robon. No offense, Robon. I still think you're pretty handy to have around. and surrender yourself to justice. Justice? Justice for what exactly? T'was not I who assassinated the Sultana, boy. You literally admitted to it in the last cutscene that you existed in. You looked Raubon in the eyes, smiled at him and said, you know who killed your precious Sultana? It was actually me. Your exact words. Ere we debate who is responsible for the assassination, I would ask whether an assassination took place at all. Oh, clever little 
little shite. If you think you fight for justice, lad, you'd best wake up. The truth is, you fight for whoever bloody well tells you to. Can you not see you're being used by the Scions, the city-states, even the Crystal Braves? They none of them care a whip what you want, only what you can do for them. And how do I know this? Because I'm the same. A pawn to be used as my masters see fit. All I ever wanted was to liberate my homeland, and I ate dirt to make it happen. But what have I achieved after all these years in servitude? Nothing. Not a bloody thing. A little weird, I'm not your therapist, but have you ever heard of projecting? If we ourselves are not free, free to think and to act, how are we ever to reclaim our own land? Know this. There is nothing I would not give to take back Alamigo. Nothing! You'll not get away! No, Master Alphano. Now is not the time. She sounded vaguely Russian there. I'm but a cripple and a fool. And still you came for me. I'm in your debt. Are we allowed to say cripple on YouTube? We are all of us fools of fate, General. But even fools have a part to play. Hmm. I kind of feel like, you know, it would hurt his pride if I did the first one. On your feet, gladiator. This fight is not over. Rest assured, I was not planning to die till it avenged the Sultana. Still, your words are welcome, lad. Know this, Ilbert. There is nothing I would not give to see you pay for what you've done. My wealth, my arm, my life. Nothing. General, are you aware that Lord Lollarito has yet to announce the Sultana's death to the public? What? No. No, I was not aware of that, nor of anything else outside my cell. It is passing strange, though. I assumed the bastard would make it known at the first opportunity, and set about tearing down the Sultanate. As did we all. And it is indeed strange that he did not. Strange, or perhaps revealing. Now, I have no conclusive proof. Nor do I wish to give you false hope, but I have reason to believe that her grace may yet live. What? But how can that be? Forgive me, friends, but it is not safe here. Let us continue this conversation without... No, you haven't heard her in English? Uh, what do you play the game in? What language, I mean. Also, I know that was late reaction, so I try not to talk too much over cutscenes. The general is safe. What, what news without? My lady, the gods have been subdued, as per your command. We have since kept watch over the entrance. There has been no further activity. Then Ilbert and his minions have bled via some other egress. 
Scout the perimeter for signs of that passing. At once, my lady. General Alden, I presume, and the scions of the Seventh Dawn. Who are you? Identify yourself. Pray do not be alarmed. My mistress is a friend, and I come bearing a message of goodwill. For your own safety, she bade me direct your steps to the Waking Sands. Know that Master Rangir waits, awaits you there, along with others sympathetic to your cause. This is no ruse, I assure you, General Alden. If you will come with me, I have repaired a carriage that you may travel in comfort, safe from prying eyes. Yeah, Japanese makes sense. I'm assuming that would be the original. Also, some of the voice acting in ARR in English was not very good. So I can definitely see why you'd want to change it. I think there was one scene where, like, Raubon was screaming. And he was, like, angry or something. He was, he was just like, ah! He was like, oh my god. Are you sure you didn't want to do a second take on that one? I have spoken to Aaron Gear via Link Room. He confirms the man's story. Raubon is in safe hands. Let us make our own way to Vesper Bay. Let's go back to the base we've been using for like the last 50 years. They'll never suspect to look here for us. My dearest friends, praise be unto the Twelve for delivering you from the clutches of treachery. Oh my god. It's Kyle Gas with a wig. Pepin, my son. And Master Papashan besides. Oh yeah, no, no, I, I see the resemblance there, my bad. That's not Kyle Gas. Forgive me, Father. I should have been at Her Grace's side. Save your tears. The Sultana yet lives. You. It was I who arranged this gathering. And judging by your perplexed expressions, it would seem introductions are in order. I am Dulala, head of the Order of Noldthor, and member of the Syndicate. What you said about the Sartana, is it true? Is she alive? Young man, I understand you were with the Sultana when she drank from the poisoned goblet and collapsed. Would I be correct in assuming that you did not personally verify Her Grace's vital signs? Actually, I want to bring up, because in that cutscene, it's actually kind of hilarious to me. I, for a moment, thought that I killed her. Because she was, like, grabbing at her throat and reaching it out to my character. And I just stood there, stone cold, staring at her. No reaction. And I was like, you couldn't have given, like, a slightly panicked expression or animation to my character. Why ask when she's playing? You know the answer. Calm yourself, General, and let me finish. The truth is not as you imagine it. You are all victims of a most ingenious ruse. A ruse conceived to eliminate the threat posed by Teleji Adeleji. Tis my belief that Teleji plotted the Sultana's assassination alone, but that Lollarito caught wind of his plot and exploited it to his own ends. He sought to manipulate you into eliminating Teleji for him. And you duly obliged. At one fell swoop, he removed his two foremost rivals, 
all the while remaining above suspicion. God strike me down for a fool. But the Sultana, how can it be that she lives? She lives because Lollorito willed it. Her own lady-in-waiting is but one of his many little birds. By her sleight of hand, the poison was switched for a less deadly draught before it could reach her mistress's lips. Some manner of sedative, perchance. Of a potency sufficient to induce a slumber like unto death. Were I to guess, I would say her grace is being held somewhere. Dreaming dreams of a brighter Ulda, even as we speak. Oh, none more. I will never forgive Lolorito for his part in this. Though Lolorito's hands are far from clean, they did pluck her grace from the jaws of death. That must count for something. And though one may call the man's methods into question, it cannot be denied that he knows the value of stability, to the very gill, like as not. He craves power, tis true, but he has no desire to depose the Sultana. I had never taken sides in your feud with the monetarists, but it was not for want of concern for our nation's welfare. Indeed, t'was out of the desire to see order restored that I furnished your Far Eastern friends with information, and arranged this gathering. I hope you are ready to work, General, for there is much work to be done. Our first priority must be to bring matters back into balance. Lest you forget Her Grace's words, the true wealth of Uldar lies in the health happiness and hopes of her people. As for the more worldly kind of wealth, I am content to let Lolorito help himself to whatever Teleggi Adeleggi left behind. You, meanwhile, must do that which you alone can do. Rescue her grace and take your place at her side once more, for her sake and that of our nation. Wait, if you were a white mage, does that mean you had a resurrection spell? Oh my god, she's dead. Don't worry guys, I can handle it. No no, we're just gonna we're just gonna walk away from the situation. I had not counted on Prioress du Dulala herself appearing. In my defense, my suspicions regarding the Sultana proved more prescient. Much remains to be done, but in rescuing Roban we have taken a vital first step towards resolving matters in Uldar. We couldn't have done it without you, Noah. Thank you. Alright. Completely forgot about these. Um. Because I already have. Yeah, I'm already wearing two of those. So I kind of think I want to go through and start leveling a second class. That isn't a tank, what would I want to do, right? So I have been looking at Bard. And I also like Summoner. Let's do this. I might do a Bard. My very awesome guild leader got me these. Elfino was distracted by a call on his link pearl. All right, Grandma. No, no, Grandma. No, I don't. I don't think that. No, the plumber was not trying to come on to you, Grandma. No, no. Okay, I'll, I. I gotta get back to you. Titaru. Yes, General Alban is now in safe hands. I was very wrong about what the call was about. It was a good guess, though. What? Another assault? Very well. We shall return at once. Pray notify the count of our coming. 
It would seem we face another crisis. The Dravanians are preparing to resume their siege of the Holy See. Though I am loath to abandon the Sultana to her fate, we lack the necessary evidence to act upon Dulala's claims. That being the case, I propose we leave Marshal Teru Terupin and the others to investigate and return with all haste to Ishgard. Ta -taru -taru. How are you? Oh, there you are. Sorry for cutting your dream news, General Ponchot. I wouldn't have bothered you, but the city is awash with rumors of our. There is a dog barking. Apparently, right outside my house. Sorry about that. And my voice changer is still on. Oh no. There's a dog barking right outside my house. I had to do the right voice. <laughs> anyway, from another Dravanian attack, and Lord Hoshman was desperate to get a hold of you. Speaking of whom, he and the others are wait waiting for you inside, so you'd better head in. Welcome, Master Forges. Shall I show you inside the manor? I mean, I know how doors work. I don't know I have to talk to you every time, but sure. And now I really is yelling at the dog. All right, this is a productive stream. Uh, my friend, I thank you for answering our call with such alacrity. As I am sure you are now aware, the Dravanians are once more gathering for war. Messer Forges, Messer Levier. Levelier, I must apologize for this abrupt summons, but we thought it best to have Mistress Tartaru contact you by the most direct means available. When the observatorium's bells toll, tis a warning that cannot be ignored. The Holy See has ordered that we make ready for battle. In case you haven't heard, a brand of troppers returning from the west claim they saw a cloud of dragons big enough to dim the midday sky. Needhog's intentions gather once more for war. But I would not have you take up arms in another of our conflicts. When first you came to Witchguard, I offered you my protection. If I cannot ensure your safety here, I cannot well accept your aid, much less ask for it. Scions of the Seventh Dawn, you are faced with a choice to remain in a besieged Ishgard or seek sanctuary elsewhere. I would not presume to influence your decision, but I must ask that you make it swiftly lest our enemies force your hand. Yeah, Tartaru brought a random dog that's just been barking at people in Ishgard. I found him and I kept him. I found him and I'm keeping him and he's mine and you cannot stop me. Oh, yeah, look at our experience. Nope. Alright, Alphanerd, what's up? Though we flee to the ends of the world, it would seem that no place in this troubled age is free of strife. And once more, the horde descends upon Ishgard. And once more, her weary defenders must take up a spear and bow. The Count would have us seek shelter from the storm, but I, for one, grow tired of running. If we are to shine the light of dawn, we must do so in the sight of our fellow man, not hunkered in a hole. What say you, Noah? Well, some of the most fun you can have is hunkered in a hole. Hmm. It's not like I like you or anything. All right. I would stay and fight, mostly because I want to kill a dragon. Then fight we shall. Let it never be said that we abandon our allies in the hour of need. To siege or not to siege, that is the question. Well, who knows, briefly... Is deliberating how... I don't know, I said briefly deliberating how to best proceed. The choice we make this day may have grave implications for our order. It is only right that Tartaru should have uh, should have a say. Come, let us all meet outside and discuss the path that lies before us. Uh, Alpha knows she's right behind you, my guy. 
Okay, we can go meet Totoro outside then. Oh, thank God you're here. Ishgard cannot well endure another assault. Even should her knights succeed in turning back the Horde, the casualties will be catastrophic. But what other choice do we have? It's not like we can talk it over with them. Dragons and men aren't exactly on speaking terms. With certain notable exceptions. Such as Iceheart. You don't mean Iceheart? When last you spoke with her, she lamented her crimes, did she not? Then there remains a sliver of hope. If we can persuade Iceheart to act as our intermediary, we may yet be able to convince Nidhogg to abandon his bloody course. If there is to be a meeting, I would accompany you. Estinian. I... Uh, I don't remember this guy at all. Not like in the slightest, tiniest bit. Like, I definitely feel like I'm supposed to know who he is and like... Like, that's very noticeable armor and none of this is ringing a bell. Even with your intermediary, Nidhogg's blood rage may render him deaf to reason. However, the mere attempt may afford our forces precious time to prepare. Of course, you might also consider a more direct approach to ending this conflict. With the power of the eye at my disposal, and the vaunted strength of the Warrior of Light, we could conceivably slay the beast outright. If we are to risk a face-to-face -face meeting with the Dread Worm, I for one would feel safer in the company of the Azure Dragoon. However, I should only turn to your lands if my words failed to find their mark. Is that clear? Perfectly. I shall assume that Isart enjoys similar diplomatic protection until instructed otherwise. A word of advice. Think carefully before divulging the particulars of this plan to Sir Emmerich. It would not do to have the Lord Commander accused of consorting with heretics. Indeed. I thank you for your counsel, Estinian. We shall be honored to have you with us. I am glad to be of service. Alright, let's go, guy. I've definitely met before and have a strong connection to. And, like, when you showed up, I was like, wow, it's him. You know? So, like, don't... Don't feel bad. You, you are memorable, my friend. We have chosen a difficult road. Yet, even should we succeed in winning Iceheart to our cause, our plans for Parley will swiftly come to naught should the Holy See decide to strike first against a horde. You must petition the Lord Commander's aid ere we set forth. I only hope that Sir Aymeric will be willing to muzzle Ishgard's forces on the strength of our vague assurances. Vague indeed. We're gonna go try to talk dragons out of dragoning. Totaru? I would ask that you remain at Fortom's Manor and inform the Count of our decision. Tell him that the silence of the Seventh Dawn mean to do all in their power to ensure that Ishgard and her people survive. Yes, sir. I think one of the worst accents I tried to do for one of my videos was ironically a Canadian accent. I have never set foot outside of Canada, and I cannot- I can't do a fucking Canadian accent, eh, bud? You would speak with the Lord Commander. Pray make it quick. I want the defenses of the Outer Ward rechecked. See to it that the ballistas are in good repair, and supplied with enough ammunition for a prolonged siege. At once, my lord. Ah, 
Twould seem I have visitors, and unlike those messing beyond our walls, these ones are welcome. Pray forgive us for interrupting you in the midst of your preparations, Sir Emmerich, but our suit concerns the impending assault. To speak plain, we believe there is a chance the invasion might be halted before it even begins. I can divulge little more at this time, but I must nevertheless request that you advise the Holy See to refrain from launching any preemptive sorties whilst we seek to put our plans in motion. I will gladly lend my support to any endeavor that could spare the blood of my countrymen, but I would know more of the cause you would have me champion. Will you not share aught of this mysterious undertaking? We're going to talk to dragons. Know that I have offered my lance to aid in this endeavor. I cannot claim that its success is assured, but our actions should serve to delay Nidhogg's advance at the very least. My apologies, we're gonna to talk to a dragon fucker and ask her to talk to the dragons for us. Which is more than can be said for the ill-conceived counterattack advocated by the sea's more vocal crusaders. They offer glorious death, but little hope of victory. Aye, their proposal does not inspire confidence. Our resources should rightly be spent shoring up the city's defenses. The Azure Dragoon and the Warrior of Light sallying forth together to face the Dreadworm Nidhogg. I must admit, the mere thought of it does much to dispel my misgivings. Go then, carry out your plan. I shall do what I can for you within the Holy Sea. I feel like he was weirdly quick to agree to a really dumb proposal, but let's get this on then. Having secured Sarah Amrick's support, we may proceed without a fear of preemptive Ishgardian attack, which is not to say we can afford to dither. History tells us that Dravanians will attack as soon as their horde reaches a critical size. Before that happens, we must needs track down and win over the Lady Iceheart, and then locate and parley with Needhog. In short, time is against us. If you are ready, Estinian, let us be about our task. such commotion. Yes, your eminence. The bells of the observatorium warn of our enemy's approach. So, the dragons are coming. Let them come, in their hundreds and their thousands. With the divine blade in our hands, we shall rend their flesh and drown the heretics in their master's blood. Even Nidhogg and his foul brood shall be powerless to resist us. And when we have rid the world of their pestilence, we shall turn our attention to our Asian allies. See that they are suitably rewarded for their invaluable assistance. I love that Dravinians are always called heretics, as if like the biggest problem with them is that they don't worship the right human god. So like, yeah, no, that's that's the reason that the dragons are a problem. They worship the wrong god, you see. If I may, your eminence, the paragons wield powers strange and unknowable. Can we be certain that they will not see through our deception? We can be certain of naught save the righteousness of our cause. If you would be a true leader of men, you must possess conviction as well as caution.
We seek to excise the root of an evil that has blighted us for a thousand years. The risk. And what of Estinian and this warrior of light? They have plans of their own. Leave them to their purpose. We must each play the role we have been given. You and your chosen brothers most of all. For the glory of King Thordon. Oh, so he's a dragon, okay. Finally, we have a dragon who worships the right god. What? I don't want this. Can I get one of his stolen instead? Alphamo would see to one final matter before setting forth. Before we set forth, we must needs inform Tartru of our plans. I shall await you at St. Reyna's Forum. Tell your friend we may be some time. The road you have chosen is neither short nor easy. Of that I need no reminding. Come, Noah, let us head back to Fort Tom's Manor. Our course is set, Taru. It may be some time before Noah and I return to Ishgard. We can go to talk to Dragon. I want to talk to Dragon. Most spoken as ever, Master Noah. There's definitely something wrong with you. Anyway, just you be careful, alright? Oh, and don't worry about me. I'll be busy listening <clears throat> listen out for news of our lost friends and Elf No. Pray that he doesn't get another concussion. He cannot afford it. If anyone can find them, it is you, Tataru. Farewell for now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must put the on, of no. I made it specially. D no, I, I couldn't possibly... Oh, very well. By the twelve, it fits perfectly, and the quality is actually rather good. I go, I don't get a new outfit. I'm glad you like it. I've been practicing my needlework while I listen to rumors and the like. A good receptionist is always learning new skills. My thanks to Taru. Whatever else awaits me upon the road, I shall not fear the cold. It was the least I could do. Now, I must be getting back to the tavern, or I'll never catch up with all the gossip. Best of luck on your journey. Yeah, no, I don't like new things, that's fine. See who your favorite is. Is it because I'm a cat? I'm not changing the cat. I will change my hair color and my eye color. That is it. You have said your farewells, son. Aye, you are ready to depart. I suggest we begin our search for Lady Iceheart without delay. Very well, but you will prove an elusive quarry. Where do you intend to start looking? In the absence of any fresh intelligence on Asera's movements, I propose we pick up the trail which she was encountered last, the Coerthless Western Highlands. Let us speak with Sir Redwald, was it? As a commander of Belkinsnest, it is likely that he will know if any heretic activity has been reported in the area. Redwald, how are you? It's been a while. There's a person we saw before. Yeah, they have a very recognizable character. That's what I want. I want a character that, like, if you see them, you're like, oh, I've seen this person before. They don't just blend into the sea of faces.
Well, well, Master Forges, what business brings you back to Falcon's Nest? Judging by the company you keep, it can be no trifling matter. The Azir Dragoon. I know. Of course, but I do not believe I have met this young gentleman. Elfino Levier, at your service. And you are not mistaken as to the gravity of our mission. Sir, Sir Redwald, as I am sure you are aware, the Observatorium has warned that the Dravanians gather for an, another assault. We believe there may yet be a way to avert the coming conflict, but only if we can find the elusive Lady Iceheart. Thus, we have we come to Falcon's Nest in the hope of acquiring the latest intelligence on the Heretic's movement. I see. Then you would be best served by speaking directly to my men. A patrol is due to return from its sweep of the surrounding lands at any moment. You may also wish to question the knights assigned to pick over the remains of the Heretic Refuge at Gorgogna? Gorgain? Horhane Mills is what we'll call it. Horhane Mills. It is possible that they have unearthed information that could be of use to you. Master Forges knows well the place I speak of, for it was he who first discovered it. Yeah, I wandered in circles for 20 minutes and then I was like, oh, hey, look, a place. Let us divide our forces, then. I will stay and await the return of the patrol while you two, while the two of you visit the refuge. Where I've completed my inquiries, I will join you there. A wise use of our time. Alva oh, was that sarcastic? Come, Noah. I am eager to learn what Sir Redwald's men have found in the heretic's lair. If you found any gill there, like even just one, it was mine and it fell out of my pocket and I want it back immediately. Master Forges, our findings... our findings, you say? Holy shit, my voice changer has been on that whole time. I'm so sorry about that. I knew eventually. Eventually I forget to turn it off. It was just a matter of when. Master Forges, our findings, you say? Well, there is something of a tale there. No sooner had we chanced upon a promising-looking chief of letters than we were ambushed from the shadows by a great white beast. It would seem the heretics foresaw our coming, and left behind their pets to discourage further investigation. Several of our number were badly wounded. And you cannot carry out your duties until the creatures are slain. We have not the time to wait for the reinforcements. Let us see with these pets ourselves, Noah. I guess I'm heading down to the basement. Oh my. Oh, they're cute little polar bears, so I don't want to hurt them. Fine. No, oh, there's more. Oh, this is another player who just rolled up. Do a little dance. The beasts are slain, then. My thanks, Master Forges. We may return to our duty without fearing of a mauling. Ah, oh, I haven't ran. I forgot this is what I get for that. Expedition leader has a promising lead to aid you in search for Lady Iceheart. You wish to track down Lady Iceheart? Is this not so? The records we discovered, air loves beasts mauled my comrades appeared to be some manner of correspondence. We had not the luxury of pursuing 
of perusing their contents more closely. Intent as we were on surviving an onslaught of fang and claw, but I'd a wager those epistles contain more than friendly salutations betwixt lonely heretics. My interrogations of patrol proved fruitless. Either we divine some clue from these letters, or we wander the snowfields and pray that the gods lead us right to Iceheart's door. It is hardly a choice at all. Alrighty, because I'm assuming when well, this is in video form, this is when most people are going to click off. Thanks so much for watching. I hope each and every one of you has a fantastic day. Please make good choices, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye. And now time for character customization. So, wait. Upon my next login. Okay. You can now read it. Oh, shit, what's that? Okay. Uh, so I'm fine with my racing gender. Let's look at the clan. That does look more dark knightly. You know, it's got the red eyes and the silver hair, but uh I'm still not sure if I wanna be a paladin or a dark knight, so I'm gonna leave it to that. Yeah. Let's see, hairstyle, we might change that. I don't really wanna be an e boy though. I could be a princess. Oh my god. I'm a chocobo. This is kind of an e-boy hairstyle. I don't entirely mind that. You know what? Maybe our hairstyle is fine. We'll just change the color. Now there are two things we can go with, right? We can go with black and white. Actually, I like that a lot. Or, we can go with white and black. Oh, uh, that's barely noticeable. Alright, we're going with black and white. That looks a lot better. I feel like they barely change. I can have different colored eyes, so I can have one like. You know, I could do the classic red and blue. I might go purple eyes. I was planning red, but I do like the purple eyes too. The question is, do I want it darker or lighter? Green eyes are always pretty. But I feel like green eyes look best with red hair, you know? Ooh, that's kind of nice. Can I go with that? Eyebrows. I don't actually take issue with my nose at all. I think it was mostly the hair that was bothering me. Though if I could... Get a better beard, I was gonna say. Doesn't look like I can. I actually do kind of like this face more, it looks older. But then how do I get my beard back? It's not a magnificent beard, but it's still a beard, damn God damn it. Oh, 
Oh, there we go. Oh, we can put on multiple? Alright. Not the best beard in the world, but... It's better than what we had before. I'll leave the eyebrows off. Do I want tattoos? No. Probably fine without them. Face paint. Oh, we get a little butterfly. Should I just do the blush look? It has the little TV blush marks. And I know socially I can't wear mascara, even though it makes my eyes pop like firecrackers. I'm so tempted to actually just do the whiskers. Oh my god, it could be Krillin. You know what we're doing? We're doing whiskers. Love it. I think my voice is fine. Not in real life, to God now. We might actually do that one. So good. Sure, I'll save it. Slot four. Those are my retainers, by the way. Is that two? And I'll give it the same comment as before. A little bit of plez. There we go. Perfectly forty characters. Change it? Yeah, I didn't know I could change this before. So, one, two. So, there we go. That is. Why is that 1230 instead of. Which one repeats? Eighth repeats. Okay, and I guess I would do this. And that is my real birthday. So, you know, please, on that day, give me money. I want money. And subscribe. pretty good right I like it I hope you guys like it too my eyes do look pretty red from back here even though I was supposed to let's go to more eyes yeah they're supposed to be purple or kind of violet color I like the way that looks. What? No! I don't know. I just meant. Fuck! Oh, wait, I saved it. So now all we have to do is this. Okay, thank God. Ah. 
Alrighty.